Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by and decided to share a little time with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three super easy and budget friendly Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIYs. I think these DIYs will be perfect when styling a bookcase or a shelf somewhere in your home. They mimic the high-end farmhouse decor that you can pick up in department stores for pennies on the dollar. These accent pieces can be used anywhere on any surface in your home, especially in your seasonal vignettes. DIY number one, a potted plant. I got these coasters from the Dollar Tree and I decided I'd make a potted plant and I'd use this as my pot. I'm going to be using hot glue and E6000 because I do want it to be permanent. I already had this cactus. Uh, I am from the Southwest and I appreciate cacti and I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to get a piece of paper and put under me because as you all know, I uh, am kind of messy when it comes to glue. So I'm just going to use this little piece of paper underneath to keep me from making too big of a mess. So here I'm just I'm just scoring the bottom end of the coasters so that they can sit a little uh, more flush. And I'm just taking the wooden dowel and just scratching off some of the cork board on the back. And I'm not going to do the one on the very bottom, I'm just going to do the ones that will fit on the side. Let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. Just a little green. Cactuses usually are uh, very dry, so I don't want to make it too green, but I don't want it looking too dry either. Just a little variation of color I think will be perfect. And I'm not going to paint the dowels that I used for legs, but you can if you needed to. You could also paint the entire project white or whatever, you know, a paint technique or whatever you want it to do. Um, but I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm 
That is super cute and super easy. DIY number two. The galvanized bucket came from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you all recognize that. Um, I've got wooden dowels that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I got a topiary ball. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna glue my topiary sticks together. I mean, I'm gonna take and glue my wooden dowels together to make the stem of my topiary stick. And try not to burn myself. Now if I had a steadier hand, I would take the glue and wrap it around here. I would put a bead of hot glue in a circular fashion along the length of these uh, three dowels to look like a vine. But I'm not just, I'm not that steady of a hand. But I think that would be really cute. If you're able to do that, I say go for it. So in here, I just have pieces of styrofoam that I collected. These um, actually came out of um, an Amazon delivery. So here I'm gonna add my topiary stick into the styrofoam. And here I'm just going to add some hot glue to the hole to keep it steady. And here I'm just gonna add my topiary bowl. DIY number three. I got these coasters from the Dollar Tree. I thought they were very pretty. I thought they looked like mosaic tiles. So I am going to use these coasters to make a planter pot. And this planter pot is going to be um, is going to be a home accent piece that I'm going to use in restyling my bookshelf here in my office. So stay tuned for the styling of that bookshelf. That's to come. Now that I think about it, if you wanted to do something like that, you could also, you could also make a box, couldn't I? And then put a little knob there on top. That would be so cute, a little trinket box.
thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs. For all my returning subscribers, thank you and I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, welcome and thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Creative Glam team. I appreciate your support too. Now make sure you all come back and tune in. I upload new videos every week and make sure you check out one of my playlists. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.